This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm delighted to say all the way from Australia, I'm joined by Devin Haney. Uh, yeah, the last time I spoke to you was in, in Las Vegas, Devin, a few weeks ago. Uh, how have you found uh, settling in Australia? I mean, uh, I, I found I've been settling well. Uh, I've been here for almost tomorrow will be two weeks. So um, I'm happy to be here. Um, I'm ready to go. I'm feeling um, ready, to, ready to go for the um, Sunday night for here, Saturday night for, for the fans in the in the U.S. Absolutely. Sunday daytime here and su- Saturday for uh, the fans in the U.S. Yeah, it's being catered for the fans in the U.S. live on ESPN. Oh, Devin, you all right? <laughs> uh, live all on right. ESPN in the U.S. and, of course, Sky Sports here in the U.K. Uh, Devin, how long did it take you to really acclimatise uh, in Australia? Honestly, um, the flight, the flight, um, it was at, like, night time. So um, I flew overnight. So I pretty much slept. I slept the whole flight. I was only for like about an hour. So when I woke up, I was well rested and it was like 6 a.m. here. Um, so I went to go work out and um, I stayed up for the rest of the night. I stayed up until like the nighttime. I slept through the whole night and uh, that was it. That was pretty much how I just got adjusted. I didn't feel like jet lag or anything. None. What's the weather like over there? Yeah, the only thing is, is it's cold here. Um, it's like rainy and cold. Um, that was the only difference that from what I was used to when in Vegas it was super hot. Uh, but other than that, it's it's been really no difference. Okay, okay. You've done it the hard way, Devin. Uh, a lot of people might not know, but early on in your career, of course, you had hardships where you had to fight on small all shows in Mexico, etc. And of course, you know what I'm going to talk about, the fact that your father, Bill, your, your lead trainer and yeah. really your best friend in some ways isn't there. And of course, your other coach and Ben Davison isn't also there. But just tell people about some of the, the hardships you had to go through early on in your career, Devin. I mean, um, I started my career in Mexico. I didn't fight on big shows. I wasn't like, I was a, I was a real good amateur, but I didn't take like the, the sign and bonus and the, the, the to be fighting on TV early. I mean, I had to take it, take it the the harder route because I was trusted in the process, um, built, built it up um, to I finally, you know, was getting like real, I started fighting on, on, on Showbox. That was like my first time, like really fighting on national television or whatever. So, um, yeah, but I feel like all those, me fighting in Mexico, fighting in bars and, and, and you know, I was fighting in um, like uh, pool halls, uh, like, like, uh, like basketball gyms with like bleachers and stuff like that. All that made me ready for for uh, these moments. Yeah, of course, uh, people who have spoke to you as well know how mentally strong you are. Regardless of your age, you are very mentally strong. And that is going to have to come into play. As I said, you haven't got your two trainers with you, but I'm sure that's uh, out your mind now and you just have to focus on the task and becoming undisputed champion. And the the people are questioning your mental fortitude that's not going to be an issue is it Devin no um, that's not an issue at all I mean if, if I felt like that was going to be an issue or anything like that you know I wouldn't have I wouldn't be here um so at the end of the day I'm 100% focused I'm ready to go and uh I'm not leaving um Sunday without those belts and, and I will be victorious by any means necessary and I will show the world and uh the world will, will, will give me my just do after this um fight Having said that, though, have you been in communication with your dad or Ben? Yeah, I've been in contact with, with, with both of them. I mean, but I think that you, I'm here with you, Yoel Judah, and uh, he's my coach. Um, he's the one who's, who I'm going to be listening to uh, in the ring. So, you know, we've just been building our chemistry, and uh, I'm ready to go. Okay, sounds good. Now let's talk about uh, the press conference, which was uh, very heated, uh, the kickoff press conference. There was a lot of references to rats in that press conference. Just explain from your side what you were saying when you said that he has rats on his own team. This guy's an informant. This guy's a rat. I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. Because in the TFMO Lopez fight against a foreigner, his own countryman, he was messaging me, telling me all the details, every bit. Tia at the hooker lounge. Tia having problems with his wife. Yeah, no, 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 no
I mean, he knows he 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 knows what I meant. I ain't nothing for me to really say uh, because he knows exactly what I was talking about when I said it. But um, at the end of the day, this 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 not the streets. This not far from the streets. This is boxing. So ain't no rats. Ain't nothing. None of that. That's 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 all cap. Like at the end of the day, this far from the streets. Boxing far from the streets or anything like that. So. To be referring to somebody as a rat is is is, is dead ass wrong, and uh, for the people that really know and understand what I'm saying, then then they know. He seems like he's trying to get into a, a mental battle with you and get you emotional before this fight. What's your state of mind right now, Devin? Relax. Um, I know that he that that's what he wants to do. Um, I mean, we we seen him run the same trick on Teal, but the same thing that worked on him, it's not going to work on me. Uh, I'm mentally strong. Um, I'm built for this. I'm prepared for 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 this moment. By any means necessary, uh, I will become. I will come out undisputed, and uh, it is what it is. Whether he likes it or not, um, he knows that I'm ready for this moment. So that's why he's trying to play all these tricks and try to come with all these skits because he knows the skill set that I have and that I'm coming with. Have you had any thoughts or consideration about the fact that you're an Australian? There could be some questionable scorecards. I'm not saying there will be, but there's a chance. No, um, got my my full my full mindset is going on, going in there, winning, putting on the best performance possible, and uh, made the best man win. How do you think he's going to approach the fight? Do you believe there's only one way he can fight, Cambosis Jr.? No, I can't think for him. Um, just got to see on fight night whatever he brings to the table. I'm prepared for it. Uh, whatever style, whatever, whatever, um, prepare for every scenario and uh, come fight night, you guys will see. How's it been over there as well? Of course, it's a massive occasion for boxing and Australian boxing. Has there been a, a lot of buzz about this fight over there? Yeah, um, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been a, a good buzz here. Um, you know, they say that the fight is sold out, so we'll see. But I've just been mentally just focused on, on going in there and not focusing on, on, on the stuff that I can't control, focus on the fight and uh, go in there and, and, and do me. Sure, you've vis visualised the fight, but was, have you also dreamed about your name being read out as undisputed champion? I mean, this has been a dream of, my, a dream of mine for, for since I was a little kid. So, um, you know, I've been having dreams about this for, for a while now. So, yeah, this, these dreams are, are pretty normal. Well, listen, Devin Aini, uh we wish you the best of luck, uh, whatever it is, the Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. You will be fighting in Australia this weekend, uh, live on ESPN in the States, and of course, live on Sky Sports in the UK. Is there anything you'd like to add uh, to fans around the world, but especially the UK fans who will be watching this, who've uh, been watching your journey for a long time now, Devin? Thank you for, to all the UK fans for all the support. I've been seeing it. I've been getting tremendous support from, from everybody all over, and uh, I look forward to, to bringing the belts back and um, showing show, showing the world and you know showing my true fans my day ones you know um, everything that, that that I said that that was the truth and uh, it, it, this this was destined for me. Can you give me a final prediction, please? Devin Haney, undisputed champion, come uh, June fifth. That's the one, Devin Haney. Thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and best of luck in your bid to become. Undisputed champion this weekend in Australia. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Center. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.